Coming up on the show, we got a leaderboard update, part two of our San Francisco qualifier tour stop and the impending return of an old friend. All that and more starts right now. We're bucking around live on Twitch. Welcome everybody to Buck Hunter, hey. your one-stop shop for everything Buck Hunters need to know. I'm Callum, joined on the desk with Mike. Hey, hey. What's We've up? got John Sukiati mm. in the production blind this week. Hi, John. Hello. So, John's uh, a new face for most of you. Unfortunately, David and Jess are going to be out. Uh, Jess or John is in the chat. Yeah, we'll I, let I just want to go, I'm getting, I'm getting my ear live on location from Medieval Times. We have uh, Jesse and David. What's that? They didn't call. And our invite was lost in the mail. Cool. <laughs> Thank you. Great. Back to the show. All right, so I, I just want David. To, you want to decide who's real? Ask yourself a personal question that only you know the answer to. Ooh. Ooh. Hmm. Federico, that sounds like a challenge if I've ever heard one. I remember your hair was braided. Yeah, but John's used to be braided. It was lovely. <laughs> he used to have <laughs> lux good. luxurious locks. But anyway, guys, uh, welcome Moskowitz. to the show. Hey, Moskowitz. Um, again, don't have David, don't have Jess, but we've got an awesome show lined the up. The show must go on. We've got part two of the San Francisco Qualifier Tour. Yes. Uh, we're going to do a quick jump into leaderboards. We're going to see if Mike can get double perfect on any bonus games, mm -mm. Uh, let alone Spoiler alert, no. shoot, some, <laughs> <laughs> shoot some bucks <laughs> as is. I'm, I'm so frustrated. I, like, all I wanted to do was one double perfect on the Pirates one. I was playing right before the show, guys. Couldn't pull it off. Literally 35 out of 36 every time yeah. by missing one shot. Uh, fun fact about the cannonball bonus. Yeah. Actually, uh, John Sukiati, who you're seeing there in the, uh, the lower corner there, is our, our lead environment designer. So he had something to do with that as well as a lot of the other uh, environments that you guys have been playing around in. So <laughs> I, thanks, I, John. I do work here, so that's cool. <laughs> cool. cool. But uh, you know what? Let's just jump into it. Yeah, it's Little Bone up in time! Leaderboard update. Hey everybody, how's it going? Leaderboard update. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we're gonna get into the leaderboard update. Uh, Sukiyata, I don't think there's anything special on that mug, right? It's, it's just a plain white mug they're asking in the chat. I mean, it's, it's special uh, in that when I started here uh, nine years ago, I rummaged through the entire kitchen and pulled it out, and I've kept it ever since. But otherwise, it's literally just a white mug. Stolen goods. Personalized mug. Yeah. For a plain white mug. Mike, what are you playing? I'm going to play just some basic arcade mode. Some big buck. Gonna... What animal? I don't know. Should we leave it up to the chat? Do you think they'll respond in time? They let me down last week with that. Mm, yeah, maybe. All right. I'm well, anyway, guys. Choose one player. Let's jump into the leaderboard. Uh, leaderboards, we've got 650 players Boom! who have played in the qualifiers so far, uh, t which, funnily enough, fills 12 Greyhound buses. 12 Greyhound buses worth of y'all. We're, we're building wow. our own Can fleet. Can you imagine that? 12 Greyhounds just cruising down the street toward <laughs> Las Vegas? That's... <laughs> Uh, Federico wants Irish Elk or Gemsbach. Okay. Uh, Jen Israel says Gemsbach. So all right. it looks like That's Gemsbach. two votes for Gemsbach. So Gemsbach it is. Gemsbach. All right, guys, we're going to take a look at the U.S. skill players. Uh, really no movement here, as you guys can all see in the top four. However, I uh, would like to point out a uh, quick shout-out to two players, Federico Reed on the on the board, climbing in there. Uh, I know you're in the chat. So yeah, welcome to the board. Kudos to you, Federico. Uh, and even more so, Chris Freem has jumped into the top 24. Now, Chris Freem is uh, somebody I want to take note of because... I remember last year leaving the World Championship, he very uh, explicitly said to me, we're taking down Trevor next year. Yeah, that is that seems to be the mission on a lot of people's minds. Yeah, I mean, when you win as much as you win uh, as Trevor wins, you really paint a target on your back. There is a big old I mean, target on Trevor's back. A lot of these players are going for specifically, I mean, not only side. just to win, but... Honestly, if, I think if you were to match Trevor earlier in the bracket and win, even if you didn't win the event, I'd be like, you know what? Yep. I'm good. I'm, You'd... I, I've done what I need to do. Uh, but anyway, moving on, let's jump into the USA Wild Cards. We're just getting started uh, with those. So we only have four names on the board, but a uh, big shout out to Ann Nielsen, John Ewing. Ewing? 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 I'm going to say Ewing. Uh, James Martinez and Mike Forrest. Big shouts to you guys. Uh, going down into the Australian skill base, wow, we have. Wow, 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 wow. Right. 
Maverick in number one, Glenn Rattray in number two, and Renee Brooks in number three. Uh, now we found out who Maverick is, right? That's right. Uh, Maverick of the, is, it's Goose and Maverick, right? I've seen Top Gun. It, it's, uh, well, yeah, Goose is it's, one of the characters, but we've got Iceman in the. Iceman and Maverick, that's, okay, so Iceman and Maverick. But isn't, isn't Maverick and Goose, aren't they the team? Iceman's the rival, right? Chat, help it's, me out here. Yeah, help us out, chat. I think you got it's it. Iceman's the rival. Goose is the guy that ejects into the cockpit. Spoiler yeah. alert. Yeah. <laughs> You're spoiling Top Gun I know, for, for the fans. <laughs> Maverick is, yeah, and, and of course, as Federico said, Maverick is confirmed to be Mark Santander. That's right. Uh, so a lot of really good players out of Australia. Uh, not sure where this is going to go. We've got two qualified players already. Mm -hmm. uh, so Mark Santander, honestly, Hell of a competitor. Uh, Brenton Garrity still not qualified. Uh, that being said, Brenton has been known to ah. come over to the United States and qualify. Shoot significantly less does than you do. I've been doing good so far, man. <laughs> In case anybody didn't notice, Mike's doing good. I'll tell you what. <laughs> okay, well, uh, moving on from the skill base, we'll jump into the wild card. Australia has their first wild cards on the board. Uh, Renee Brooks. Uh, taking that number one spot. Welcome uh, back, Renee. Welcome back. We'll come back to you guys a little bit uh, later, probably next week. Uh, really not a whole lot of action going on there, so let's take a look at Canada. Canada's got some cool storylines going on. Uh, it's really the the board of relationships. That's right. Love is in the air. That's right. Drew Baldock and Lauren Hope are on the leaderboard. Neil Davidson, uh, some of you guys may remember him from Chicago, and Tegan Muir are also on the board. Uh, and then even more so, and arguably uh, more so it. than Lauren and Drew, is Drew and Old Treso. Yeah, they were, they're definitely romantically involved. We're going to have to talk to Lauren about it, though. It is what it is. We don't want to discriminate on how they do things in the North, but uh, <laughs> the Canada leaderboard uh, has a lot of talent, and of course only one player is coming from there, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, talking of talent, let's take a look at the ladies' leaderboard. Now this Ladies. is huge, Samantha and Triari. Samantha kicks the door in, says, hey, uh, qualifier, Meow Meow's in town. <laughs> Meow's in town, taking that number one spot. We've got Jacqueline Stafford in number two, Alyssa Freeman in number uh, three, and then a whole bunch of talent uh, in various places. I'm not entirely sure who The Revenant is. Yeah, uh, that's a new one this week. Uh, if anybody knows who The Revenant is, and don't say Leonardo DiCaprio, you creeps. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, how does that make them creepy? I don't know. <laughs> but of course, guys, on all of these leaderboards, the red names are players who are uh, playing on ineligible names. You do need to uh, compete with your first and last legal name. Uh, we're not going to hunt you down just yet, but come world qualifier or world championship time, uh, boom, you have it. Alexis's name should be red. Alexis, is, Alexis Eels. How do we know her last name isn't Eels, Federico? There's a different Alexis he might be thinking of. Alexis Murphy. Or Gillis. There's a bunch of them. That's she Allie changed Gillis. it from Murphy to Eels just to be silly. Oh. oh, okay. Alexis Murphy. Your name's going to be red next week if you're not careful. <laughs> and let's take a look at the wild card, John. And another huge upset. We've got Shirley Ann McMurtry, uh, one of our players who made a huge name for herself in the uh, ladies' wild cards last year. Uh, obviously come, looking to come back. So we've got her in first. Cortland Exchange mm -hmm. in number two and Lynette Hoffman in number three. Now this has been a, an interesting board because there's a lot of upward movement on the left side and a lot of downward movement on the right side. Uh, that being said, lots of big names in here. Christina Eddy, Julia Wilmot, uh, Elena made a name for herself last year. Kelly Clark's on the board, Julianne Jones. Uh, don't be dumb, Callum. What did I, I don't know what I said. <laughs> I don't know what I said. Like, what I did know. I do? I don't, I'm too busy to hunting. To. You're supposed to be doing this I'm part. I'm doing this part, but. <laughs> Julia and your Nicki Minaj emojis. <laughs> uh, we're we're going to get into the hunting parties. Moving on from the ladies' tournament. Of course, guys, these are two brand new tournaments uh, into the World Championship this year. We have the top hunting parties and the leading locations. Now, your top hunting parties are players who are hunting the most uh, and who and their teams who are hunting the most, should I say. You see that? One no. shot on all three. On all three? One shot. Have you ever done that before? No. <laughs> <laughs> So guys, with the top hunting parties, we have a little bit of a rivalry going on right now. We've got the Beldenville Blasters versus the Minnesota Monsters. Oh, yeah. there it is. There's the Nicki Minaj emoji. <laughs> there it is. I'm telling you. Uh, but we've got the Beldenville Blasters and the Minnesota Monsters competing, uh, going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Beldenville just edging them out, uh, I think, only by like 2 million points this year, uh, this week. So uh, 
And again, Minnesota and Wisconsin have this huge natural rivalry as is, and it's transformed oh, into on. Big Buck Hunter. Uh, so really looking forward to seeing how that goes. But of course, we can't uh, talk about those two without throwing some nods to Team New England. Uh, the San Francisco's, oh. Denver Buck Club, Too Drunk to Buck. All of these teams are freaking awesome, really well known throughout the Big Buck community. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing these guys go head to head. Uh, the winner of the top hunting party at the end of the qualifier will get some uh, pretty awesome Big Buck official hunting party specific You have a hard swag. time over there, bro? There we go. Got through it. <laughs> and uh, now we're going to move on to the second tournament. Let's jump into the leading locations. Now, the leading locations is really cool, guys, because if your location isn't one that we're going to be focusing on uh, during the qualifier tour, the leading locations will win you a custom party at your location. So yeah. the venue with the most plays will get a custom party thrown by us at Play Mechanics. Mike and I will come out and throw a party at your location. We'll get a little tournament going. It'll be a lot of drinking. It's going to be a great time. So with those leading locations, Billy's on Grand uh, in St. Paul, Minnesota has taken first. Of course, you've got Mountains on 8. Clyde's Corner in Wisconsin, keeping that rivalry alive. Did you really? Just keep looking. Just don't, look, just don't turn around. You uh, don't want to see this. So we've got Minnesota and Wisconsin for the top three. Uh, Vista Bar uh, in Boise. And then going through there, of course, we've got Selbergs uh, out west. I was Steampunk. definitely impressed by the variety in locations. Yeah, they're really all, all over, over the, place. the country. All and, over. And you've got some big ones. I mean, Cease and Desist, of course, in 12th was a place that we were actually in uh, last year. Andrew Moskowitz, or sorry, last year, like two weeks ago. Andrew Moskowitz actually gave me a heads up. Mike, this is embarrassing. <laughs> embarrassing. Stop it. Cease and, doing your job. <laughs> Cease and Desist actually just got bought by new owners. Whoa. So it looks like we got in right on time. Hey. Uh, I guess in, in about two months, they're closing down for renovations for, for a little while. I believe oh, that's that right. That could be Andrew, exciting. Andrew, you can correct me if I'm wrong on that. Uh, Steampunk, of course, in Austin, everyone remembers Steampunk from the World Championship. We ended up yep. heading down there for the post party. They had uh, Big Jenga. That's right. They had the Big Jenga. They had all sorts of stuff. The land of 50 fireball shots. That's right. Who bought those shots? Was that Trevor? Uh... I think it's I think ancient Trevor, history at this point. I think Trevor bought those. Was 50 it? shots for everyone? And Man, anyway. That's intense. Maybe closing all up in the air. Yeah, you said it. Uh, let's get the Sydney Stalkers going. Mark and Sean, absolutely, guys. Uh, come on, Mike, turn it around. I know you can. little encouragement from yeah. my tornado. Thanks, Andy. And Federico, Steampunk isn't closing. Cease and desist. Uh, just got bought out. They may be having some... Uh, Renovation done. Oh, come on! No. <laughs> this is First bad. Shot, uh, you wouldn't do well on stage. You're a better host than you are a player, so that's good. Just keep doing the leaderboards, Callum! <laughs> uh, and Rowdy Mouse says, let us know it was Trevor who bought the 50 shots for everyone. Uh, and then let's go into the last leaderboard while Mike finishes up his bonus game, the top 12. Now this is your global tw top 12 uh, Maverick from Australia, Mark Santander moving into that number one spot, Jason Brulette being kicked out of it, uh, and Iceman coming in third. So you've got, of course, that duo right there. Uh, one of the things I really like, live, one of the things I really love about the leaderboard for the top 12 is there's so much variety in United States, Canada, and Australian players. And I think over the last few months, without Ryan Hodgson in there, the Australians have been kicking the Americans' I know. ass. Yeah, there's there's a there's a real rival uh, rivalry this year between the United States and Australia here on the rank play boards. Uh, it's big, it's big. But uh, Mike, you don't have to play again. It's okay. I got this. Nobody, nobody. That's what we're going with. Yeah. All right, guys, we're gonna wrap it up. We're gonna be getting back on camera. Uh, Mike, do you want to go through the buckshot? Sure. Yeah. Let's talk about the buckshot, shall we? Let's get back it. Do si do, do si do. I'll get rid of this uh, this sound here. All right. <clears throat> so our uh, our buckshot uh, actually comes from somebody at Twitch, which I thought was pretty cool. Uh, this is a guy named Darren. He's the two D illustrator at Twitch, and uh, good form, I gotta say. Good well, form. Maybe not good score though. Well, who know? I mean, I, not that I would know anything about that, but uh, yeah, you can see the uh, the Twitch neon sign there on the wall. Uh, as best as we can guess, this seems to be happening at Twitch. Yeah, which absolutely. Is cool. He's got a badge hanging over there, over there on his hip. Uh, and we very had, cool. We, we had a couple of players actually get to go out to uh, to, to Twitch. Uh, well, it must have been two months ago now. Yeah, a little while ago. A little while ago. Yeah. Uh, and do a little in-house tournament. So I know Twitch, is, and of course, as you guys know, Twitch has a heavy involvement with Big Buck Hunter. So. Uh, super cool to see the buckshot of the week come from Twitch. Yeah, yeah. We uh, we hope to learn more about uh, the big buck competitions going on under their roof. Right. 
Moskowitz. And, I don't know who Graham Wacko is, but I want an attorney. I do too. I, 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 that's one of those names where I don't know whether to make it red. It could be. I, I don't want to offend anybody. If, if Wacko happens to be Graham's last name, then that's awesome. I wish my last name was Wacko. <laughs> uh, but speaking of competitions, guys, we're going to be heading out to New York soon. Mm -hmm. uh, but before we do that, we've got one more video to show you. Yes, yes. Uh, as you saw last week, our first stop in San Francisco, uh, made for a night to remember. But that's only half the story. That's right. On night two at uh, Mauna Loa, all the excitement from the first night was there and then some. That's right. Thinking, um, sorry, thanks in part, thanks in part to a larger crowd, Cinco de Mayo festivities, and a healthy dose of villainy. John, roll that beautiful bean footage. What's I'm up? Ready. We can do this. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> oh my God! What's up, guys? Mike and Cal here at Mauna Loa for night two of our World Championship Qualifier Tour stop here in San Francisco. That's right. Melissa Romanek took home the tournament last night, so we're gonna head inside and see who wins tonight. We're here with Mark, a brand new buck hunter that we signed up for the tournament tonight. Mark, what's the night been like for you? Uh, I was actually surprised because I didn't realize that it was going to be a bunch of rookies out there. What did I do? Yeah, you you uh, you made quite an impact when you came into this tournament. Well, I tried. Yeah. Hey, give me a little love. You've got a big cheering section. Get him! Talk a little bit of shit for someone that sucks. But you're kind of the villain tonight. I hope so. You right. know, I think that's a, that's a role that I like to play. Just man. like striking fear into yes. the hearts of everyone. Because no one has a dead eye like I do. Right. Yeah. That was not good. That's a double do out. Not great. Not great. <laughs> yeah. So we're we're here in San Francisco doing tour stops all over the yeah. country, promoting the qualifier for the world. Yeah, we're talking. Which I'm gonna win. You're gonna win. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah right. Twenty thousand dollar top prize in Las Vegas yeah. this October. I'll give it to so, charity. I'll give it to charity. So we can expect to see you on the qualifying table next time. I mean, yeah, I'm gonna win the whole damn thing. Absolutely. 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 All right. Thank you, Mark. <laughs> hey, awesome. nice to meet you guys. See you All right. Bye. <laughs> Callum here with Patrick Stanley over at Mauna Loa. Patrick, you're one of our newest hunters here. You've been playing for three months? Yeah, about three months or so. I knew someone was getting the buck who was into buck hunter really big, and I'd always seen this kind of machine at bars, and I was like, oh, this is whatever. Like, it's a bar game, like, whatever. Just drunk people play it. Sure. Um, and then she kicked my ass at it, constantly. <laughs> and yeah. I saw how much skill this game took, and <laughs> it was really fun, it was really engaging. So naturally I want to keep on getting better and better and better at this game, and I'm still, you know, I'm still like on the lower end of the scale, but I'm working my way up. You're still in the tournament. I still am in the tournament, I'm surprised. I I, I'm happy, I'm I, really happy. If I, if I remember the brackets correctly, I think you're actually playing uh, Brian, who's the champion from the last time we were hmm. on alone. I got this. But yeah, I mean, I got this. That's, I got this. That's I have confidence. It's the confidence. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. How are you enjoying the tournament? So I, I love it. The, the scene's great. Everyone here is really friendly. Everyone kind of gets along. I love the competitive spirit, but everyone's having a good time. Planning on coming to the World Championship? 
Ah, totally. Yeah? 100%. Oh, yeah. It's gonna be a bit of a grind, but uh, I think I got it in me. So what do you think about the World Championship location this year? We're in freaking Las Vegas. Man. Vegas, come on. Like, I, I can't believe you guys haven't been in Vegas before. It seems yeah. like such the natural location. And what a time to get into Buck Hunter. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, I'm really excited to see. I think uh, your name's actually been called a couple times, so we're gonna let you <laughs> so, yeah. hopefully uh, win your next round against Brian. But, uh, Pat, I appreciate it. Thank you. We'll see you, all right? See ya. What's going on guys? Callum again, here this time with Tony and Aaron. How the hell are you guys doing? Good! Awesome, awesome. awesome. And these are two other hunters uh, from San Francisco. Before that, actually out in Minnesota and New York? New York, yeah. New York. So how'd you get into Big Buck Hunter? Used to play super casually in Minnesota. Never played in a tournament. Didn't even know it was a thing. So I went to the same bar across the street pretty much every night for six months and uh, started to play with another dude. We both got really good and then the qualifiers started and I've been hooked ever since. <laughs> How did you get into the Buck Yeah, it was the bar that was across the street from us in upstate New York and just really enjoy the game. It's a lot of fun. It's, it's, uh, it's a fun game to play. And you guys have been to two world championships, Austin yep. and yes. Chicago? Chicago? Yep. And what do you think about Las Vegas this year? I'm so excited. Very excited. I think it's, I think it's going to be a fun location. I'm yeah. excited. And are you guys both going to qualify or just come spectate? What are you guys doing? Well, I'm going to qualify. I don't know what he's going to do. So. Ladies and worlds? or just, just ladies. La just ladies? What about you? I'm planning on wild carding. Uh, the competition is just insane nowadays. It's nuts. I plan on qualifying, but not in the top. 30. Yeah. How did you guys get into competitive big buck hunters? Uh, I used to cover a sales territory that went from Erie, Pennsylvania to Bangor, Maine. Okay. And part of that territory is in New Hampshire. So as I played in different bars throughout my territory, I started looking at that top 50 and I saw Ryan Hodgson's name all the time. Sure. And I lined that up with the bar and New Hampshire is pretty small. It's all easy to find the bars, right? <laughs> so I went to the bar and I asked the bartender, I'm like, I know Ryan Hodgson plays here. When do they play? And they said, well, be Tuesdays, so that's tonight. And then 10 minutes later, she goes, that guy. So I met Ryan and Kylie that night and we kind of hit it off and ever since then, they instilled that competitive nature and I took that back to Rochester and after Chicago, we both had a great time and then she started to play really hardcore and now it's something we do together all the time. And we just had a lot of friends in upstate New York that played as well and so it was just more of the camaraderie and just the love of the game. Awesome, and you guys are actually in the tournament now, are you still in? I just, I just lost. Just lost? I just lost. And you, I just did a terrible. But at least we can still drink, right? Yeah. Exactly. We can still drink. At the end of the day, the most important part of the Big Buck Hunter tournament is if you're not in the top five, you're still going to get drunk. And we're going to get back inside and keep drinking. We'll catch you guys later. There you have it, ladies and gents. Uh, San Francisco was an awesome time, both nights. Uh, but as you saw on night two, everything got amplified. That's right. And there were no technical issues in San Francisco. Not at all. <laughs> and uh, we're looking forward to no technical <laughs> issues in New York. Yeah, don't uh, forget. So next month, guys, we're heading to the Big Apple for some tournaments. Uh, more swag, more shenanigans, more drinking, more big buck. It's going to be a legendary. Absolutely. Can we get that graphic up real quick? There we go. There's your dates. Uh, if you are in or around New York, please join us for a party that night. It's going to be a good time. That's right. On June 8th, we're going to be at Pine Box Rock Shop. Uh, and June 9th, we're going to be at Ace Bar. So yep. two of the most well-known big buck hunter bars. 
uh, in the United States. Yeah, and uh, we're expecting some big turnouts. So. Yeah, the players there alone. I mean, there's a, there's an incredible Big Buck Hunter League uh, run by Jacqueline, Alexis, and uh, Allie mm-hmm. um, up there that has a huge turnout just from the league nights. Yeah. And I'm expecting a lot of them to come out, and then, of course, all the other players. Uh, yeah. So make sure you get there on time to register for the tournament. If not early. Guys, we're yeah. going to be there probably around 5 or 6, setting up, making sure we're ready to go. Uh, stop in early, grab a beer with us, sign up for the tournament. Uh, yeah. It'll be a fun night. It'll be a fun weekend. We can't wait for it. Absolutely. Finally, we're pleased to announce the return of an old friend. Yeah. You mean enemy, right? I suppose so. Uh, but back by popular demand. You mean sadistic demand? The Wheel of Tomfoolery is coming back next week. Oh, shit. I think I actually have somewhere to be that day. Nope. Callum and I will be spinning the old wheel and coping with whatever it lands on as we hunt, and we need your help to fill it with crazy distractions. I hate the show. Leave your ideas in the Twitch chat or the YouTube comments later on, and you might just see them used on next week's episode. So, uh, that's something to look forward to. Uh, right, Callum? Uh, <laughs> the wheel is like the most... I come in on like Thursdays like, oh yeah, it's bucking around day. Like, mm-hmm. nice. I can't wait to be on the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then like days where I realize it's Wheel of Tumpler days, I'm just like, damn it. That, I George, I'm sick. I there's a yay home. from Federico. So. Yeah, well, that's because it's like, <laughs> you guys aren't the ones eating these plums or eating this hot sauce. Yeah, and, like, that actually brings up a good point. If you have a favorite uh, thing that we had to deal with last season, feel free to suggest it again and we'll you know, do what we can to bring it back. Yeah, so next week, guys, we actually don't have uh, an awesome little video to uh, show you. So we're going to be pretty much doing leaderboards and uh, wheel all day. Yeah, we're going to be uh, gearing up for our next trip. But yeah, that's, that's all the footage that we have from San Francisco. It was a great time. Uh, so thanks again to all of you that came out and partied with us. And I think uh, with those little technical difficulties, we're going to be running a little bit over. Yep. Uh, so we're going to no wrap it up here. Uh, not a big deal, of course, but uh, I see you guys talking in the chat about uh, whether or not the bars are 21 plus or under. Uh, Federico, I'll reach out to them. I'll double check for you. Uh, I'm actually not entirely sure. Uh, but everyone that is coming, bring your A game. Be camera ready because we're going to be doing a lot of interviews and getting a lot of footage. Yep, yep. Uh, bring your drinking pants or shoes if you're skippy. By the way, Jess will be there this time. Ooh. So look out. Jess will be there. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's really all you need to you say. You have been warned. <laughs> Guys... <laughs> Uh, from the cast and crew of Bucking Around, make sure you follow all of our social media channels down there. There they are. There. Bingo, bango. Down there. Uh, follow all of those. Share the love. Uh, tune in next week, of course, for the Wheel of Tom Foolery. Next week, same time, same place. Twitch.tv slash BigPuckHD. 7 p.m. Central Standard. I'm Callum, joined by Mike. Bye. John Sukiati. Hello, bye. <laughs> and we're the cast and crew of Bucking Around. You guys have a good night. Take it easy. <laughs>